there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back on the Genesis Live community server. And you may notice in the background here we have a new friend. He was a max level 150 ex Argentavis and I was out earlier on today and Sin came over and helped me grab him. So plans for today is I'm going to do a little bit of base expansion in the snow biome. Earlier on we did build a little box of sort of sorts and yeah I want to I want to do something a little bit better in the snow biome but um, of course we grab this guy he needs a name but uh, when there's two of you it makes it a lot easier so and the blood stalkers really do slow these things down and I used a gun that uh, Sin just lent me and it literally took four darts to take the Argentavis down and it's got a really cool scope on it so we're going to be crafting the bench and checking this mod out later on today so I definitely want one of these now if you want to join the complete retreat server you're more than welcome as you can see we've relaxed the game a little bit make it a little bit more casual but if you've got a little bit more time at home at the moment you're a bit bored and you're thinking about picking up the Genesis expansion well, yeah, come in and explore it all with us. The server is uh, on PC only, I'm afraid, but if you're able, you're more than welcome to come down and join us. And uh, we can explore the Genesis content together. But today, I need to do some building. So I think that's what we're going to start with. In fact, it's been a while since we've done one, so let's get on with a building montage. Yeah, let's do that. I'll see you in a second. to finish something and uh, just getting this area flat was quite difficult but I've got something as a base and I'm gonna swap the roof around and put some glass on it let me shift these dinos out but uh, just for now this will do and there's more ledges around so I think I can really do something with this area but I've just got something to begin with I definitely want to get some glass in there but before we do that I need to get a fabricator and a generator and some electricity up and running because we didn't even have that in the swamp biome I did build a fabricator over there but I found a really good source of metal over here and I'm also a little bit away from being able to tame a magma saw so right okay so it's bark powder and cementing paste that I'm missing. Cementing paste, that might be a problem around here. Let's just grab some of this metal. Um, the beavers are supposed to be spawning in this area and there was a couple of beaver dams and I know they spawn because Sin's actually managed to tame a beaver but they're not spawning back around the river area so getting cementing paste is a little bit of a problem. Gonna have to think of something in order to do that. I have got some back at the other base that I have made up because I was getting plenty of chitin and keratin so I might have to go back and grab that. We need 20 so I can probably just buy a little bit from see what we've got in here. I can just buy a little bit off of HLNA. Let's make up what we can and oh, I'm getting sap from the tall conifer looking trees in the snow biome as well which I was only actually getting from one place in the bog area so we're going to need that right let's get some spark powder on the go 
and six. We're going to need another 14, so I'm going to have to use HLNA to get a little bit more chitin or keratin just to get enough to make the fabricator. But yeah, that's going to be a problem. Okay, 23. Well, that'll do. That's enough. And the electronics shouldn't be a problem to wire up here and be quite tidy because I've had to put this base on stilts and yeah that was a right pain to build it's taken me hours so I don't know how I'm going to cut that video up but uh, we'll cut something I'm sure you've already seen it by now okay right um, I think I'm going to put the generator I've put a door I'm going to put the generator outside so perhaps if we stick this in no I think I'll stick it in We'll stick it in the corner. Um, and then I can perhaps put the fridges next to it. Okay. Just somewhere around here. I do need the fridges because every time I go offline I have to come back and start cooking food because everything goes rotten. The preserving bin is just not quite good enough. Right, so that's the fabricator down. We're also going to need to do this mod bench as well, which I'm assuming is going to need to be hooked up to the electrics. You can see where the old base is, just underneath where I've put this on stilts. Okay, so a generator. Let's take this oil. We're going to need some of that. I'm going to have to make some fuel. So in fact, we'll go and do that. Let's grab some hide and oil and go and get some fuel on the go. But yeah, the generator, I'm going to build a little back room. I prefer putting it out of the way because it can be quite noisy when you're around it. So put it behind a closed door and it naturally brings the sound down. Um, okay, so... Um, we are going to need electronics, I'm sure. Where are we? Electrical structures, electric. It's weird that they just put that electric as one category with one wire. I should fix that. Right, electrical, here it is. Generator. 10 electronics, okay. So silica pearls three silica pearls for one component so we're gonna have to get some silica pearls I think we may need to make a trip to the water biome to get some silica pearls I do have a basilosaurus They're actually quite easy to tame there's so many of them floating around on the top that there's not enough stingrays to go around them so they're quite an easy tame to grab um, we can buy some just to make the fabricator. How much is that going to cost us? Probably quite a lot. Um, that would be enough to craft it, but it's like 1,000. Ooh, that's quite a tough. Okay, well, I'll just do it to make the generator, but we're going to have to go to the water biome after, the, after this to get, the, get some more components done. And... We need some gasoline fuel and oh, I forgot to put the oil in. Um, is it still in my inventory? It is. Okay. of them. We're going to need more. Okay. Right, I'm just going to get my generator down. So hopefully it will just clip through here. I can build a little box around it. You won't see it at the back, but as long as this room is covered. Yeah, that'll do just there as we come through the door. And I can wire everything underneath from there. 
Perfect. I'll just shove this fuel in. In fact, I'll shove all of it and leave this running. Get some more fuel in. I've actually found some oil up at the top of the mountain as well, in the rocks. So that won't be a problem in the snow biome. We will go back to the swamp. I think I'm, I'm going to need to build uh, the greenhouse. But yeah, we'll just cover this up. Box it off. Right, well, I think we need to head to the water biome to get some silica pearls. Okay. Right, we're here. Just spawned in on the east side. Let's stick Blood Ninja away. Just had to go back to the swamp base and grab my Basilosaurus out the fridge. Or out the preserving bin. The fridge actually doubles the time on your cryopods if you didn't know. It's another reason why I wanted to get it crafted. Because my Basilo has only got a few days left. So I guess we'll just chuck it in the water. Just here. Don't want to chuck it on the land. I don't know if it'll let me. Probably will. Uh, oh, I've just thrown blood in the job. <laughs> um, right. Oh, great. Need to put him away now. And there's some electric eels down there. Can I not get... I can't put him away in the water. Right, let's get the basilo out just in case we get attacked. So yeah, only three days in the cryopod left. How am I gonna, I'm gonna have to ride you and, can we jump up here? Yes, we can. Okay. So yeah, I grabbed the bas basilo with Sin. We were trying to tame the giant turtles, but they were broken at the time. And yeah, there's, you'll see there's plenty of Basilosauruses, so many that there's hardly any stingrays, so they're just a passive tame. And whoa, I've got 44 levels. I suppose he has been sat in the fridge for a month, but it's good that they get passive levels while cryopodded. of health. I don't find that the Basilosaurus really gain that much when you do stick points into the melee, but just in case. Okay, so we need to go silica pole hunting, but what we're looking for out here is there's a giant clams on the side of the rocks. Haven't really explored much of this zone. I think that's because when we first went onto the server, that it said it was actually hard. And logically, you can't make the scuba gear until quite late on. But I think that's a little bit misleading. I actually think the water zone could possibly be one of the easier areas. And the swamp zone's definitely difficult. These things here they look like little brains. Can you eat them or are they just corals? something through there. Probably a fish. Okay. Well, I need to find these clams. A plenty... Is that... Ah, there they are. So I'm hoping that they drop a reasonable amount of silica pearls. I'm gonna have to put some points into stamina. Is that a donkleo there? Okay. I think we're safe to jump off. I haven't actually got any scuba gear. I've noticed that the O2 rates don't go down very quick as well. Fifty-four for that. So definitely much better way to get the silica pearls. We're gonna have to stock up on these. goes down quite slow as you can see so 
I think it's a little bit more misleading. I would say that perhaps this area might be the easier one. No bugs for a start. <laughs> and it's like a little bubble. What do these do? Oh, we've got our option in back. Oh, we've got an air bubble around us. <laughs> Does it make a pop when we go to the service? I've got to see this now. <laughs> okay, great. We well, don't even need a scuba tank. Mark. You've tricked us. Yeah, I've still got the water bubble above me. See a basilo over there in the distance. Check this out, guys. I had heard that there was a base that I needed to come and check out in the water biome on the server. Belonging to somebody called Matrix, and wow, I love it. What you've done with a staircase. Don't you can try and get out of the water so you can see this is massive build. Wow, you've been really busy. Ah, oh, you're putting my base to shame. That's pretty epic. Fantastic. Oh, I'm pleased I found it. Okay. Well, we need to find some more silica pearls. And I will have to build something out here on the water biome eventually myself as well. But, um, yeah. Good job, Matrix. That looks pretty awesome. Another water bubble. Another basilo. Again, without any if we just attack. See, there's one above us. They're dead easy to get, the Basilos. There's so many of them that most of them don't have stingrays. Is it the bubble that's making me... Oh yeah, can I punch? Just punch the bubble and you get out. Okay. Great, more silica pearls. Well, we're going to stock up on as many as we can. And I will eventually. I have a platform to build on a wooden platform so we will be doing a build out here certainly exploring especially as Modor the first boss is out here so we're gonna have to build a water army that is for sure but one thing at a time we need to concentrate on the electrics back in the snow biome so I'll hunt for some more pearls and we'll see you when we get back Okay, so some metal, and we a fridge, fridge, I want to build a couple of these, okay, so we just need some more polymer, let's get our fridge down, this has saved me having to craft every time I come back onto the server. go easy on the cementing paste, that's pretty much all I had back at the swamp. Right. Get this lined up. Mm-hmm. Um, that's good. I need another one. Get this lined up right. Yeah, just there. And they're all connecting up to the power because the lights are both coming on at the bottom there so that's great wiring's working we can't see any of it but cementing paste is going to be a problem I was hoping that there were snails to be found on the swamp biome it would make sense because there's dung beetles but nope can't find any snails and being that the beavers are not spawning we are going to have a problem when it comes to cementing paste um, so hopefully that gets patched or fixed. As you can see there, I just put my basilo in the fridge and it's got 30 days, so it doubles the time. If you guys didn't know that. And it still gets XP, which is great. So, tidy up the server. You can put the dinosaurs in the fridge. 
they still keep got in the XP and uh, yeah good idea like it right we need to concentrate on this tech bench let's see what we need to do that with So here it is, this is the mod. Craft it in our inventory it would appear. Um, cementing paste I've got. Metal. Okay, craft one. Just put you back in the fabricator. So this is how we're going to craft our binoculars and the scope attachment for the gun. Right. Shove you. I don't know if I put you right next to the fridge. Can I get something else perhaps next to the smithy? Mm, no. No, I think I'll center it a bit more. So I've never used this mod. Well, I did borrow the gun off Sin. And I liked the sight on it. So let's check it out. So it's got power, because I've put the wiring underneath already. Let's turn it on, very smart. Okay, so SEL mods. Okay. Right, so that's the gun attachment done couple of pieces to make it but let's go and check this out so it will bring up stats of the creature how much torpor it's got left and along with this mod there is higher grades of trank darts that you can unlock so but yeah very cool I think the attachment looks quite smart on it as well. I do like to read the information. And everything's clearly marked with that, so that's really cool. Right, now on to the binoculars as well. I think we will finish this episode on the binoculars. We need crystal, metal and obsidian, which we have a little bit of all of that. Um, somewhere I will find some but I really like the binoculars oh you can see my dodgy wiring when I actually say dodgy it's because I built this on platforms it was actually quite easy to do the wiring and it's uh, pretty much covered up um, I'm going to need some more crystal let's just throw this in there and grab a little bit more crystal and I hope you're enjoying the Genesis updates. Like I say, you're welcome to come down and join us if you're playing Genesis at the moment. And you're on PC. Come and help me fight Modor. Right, crystal. Got some metal in here. No, actually, I'll destroy this. I don't need it. Demolish that. We'll have to move the bed eventually. We'll get rid of all of that and tidy it up. And we got some metal in here. Um, let's grab what we've got. Just want to finish on the binoculars. Kind of look like something out of Star Wars. But I do prefer the binoculars to the scope. I find it very hard to target stuff with the scope. Okay, so it's the binoculars. Let's just check these out before we call it a day on this episode. Of an update on the Genesis server. Okay, there you go. So I like the fact that we get a lot better vision with these. And again, this brings up all of the stats of the dinos. So really cool mod, which we'll be using next time, I'm sure. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the Genesis content. Like I say, I'm just playing it in my spare time, but bringing you updates here and there. And uh, just enjoying some Genesis stuff at the moment. So until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.